Hey gang, Jason here for the love of tractors, and I have an exciting couple videos coming up for you. So, uh, miniprints.ca has kind of partnered with us for a couple videos here to show you some of their incredible 3D printed detail items that they have for your farm toy display. So we're going to do a couple different videos here. Uh, the first will be the kind of display items, and then we're going to do a video on some of their animals. And uh, the things that they have are really going to make your display come alive. And so I'll do a couple videos of them in the raw 3D printed uh, format here. And then once we get them all painted up and kind of get them put on the display, we'll also do another set of videos on those. So what's really cool is they kind of have a little bit of everything and they have multiple scales by the way you don't have to do just 64 scale if you are a 187th ho scale guy they've got you covered there they've got some other scales as well so it's really cool and i'm really excited to kind of get to work with them a little bit here so uh first up as you guys know dogtown has a little bit of a, a stream situation going on so check this out uh we've got a kayaker uh, he's got room for a fishing pole, so he'll be fishing off his kayak over there on the stream at Dogtown. Really neat. Uh, you can even see the ore. The detail is incredible on these, by the way. Um, and just an absolutely fantastic design and detail print on that. Now, this is neat, I thought. Uh, we, we definitely will find a spot over by the old barn for this wagon. Uh, we'll probably maybe uh, weather him up and kind of get him looking good. Look at it, it even rolls, which is pretty cool because this I this may have been printed in place. I'm not for sure, but uh, really neat, uh, nice detail. Just kind of an old wagon. These are the handles for it. So if you want to, you know, you could even hitch up a horse or an ox or something like that to it. Which, by the way, they have prints of. We'll get to those in a different video. But super cool. Again, excellent detail on this. This is uh, these are all in. Whoops! And I just dumped my handles these are all in 164th scale so moving on this was actually one of the first things i saw that really caught my eye on their website these adirondack chairs so if you guys do any 3d printing yourself you know how difficult it is to get these real thin slats like this and so this is just a tremendous job uh, on those so I, I suspect there's been a lot of experimentation and work that has kind of come into the expertise to get a real neat product like this so these adirondack chairs are probably going to end up maybe around the house at dogtown originally i thought we've got a little camp scene going on over by the river and i really thought maybe that's where they would end up but then they sent us these cool little lawn chairs now if you are of a certain age let's say my age you're, you these are like gonna bring back all kinds of memories to you they're kind of have that woven mesh in them you know everybody has bag chairs now but these are old school folding lawn chairs and it's just super cool so we'll have to paint these up into like some cool like 70s and 80s colors uh because that's kind of what i remember uh maybe like a green and white and i don't know we'll see some other really interesting kind of classic colors from from our youth here uh and that's, you know, I think that's to some extent what this whole thing is all about. Uh, just kind of bringing back memories and, and evoking emotions. Now, check these out. So, uh, these are oil stoves, or uh, at least that's what they're supposed to be. Uh, we are going to use ours because we do on the real farm as a wood stove. So, we're going to convert this. So, we'll actually... I might put a little door on here and then we'll run a pipe out the back. And this is actually how we heat a pretty good chunk of our shop at the real farm. But these are oil. Uh, it's supposed to be for like home heating oil and things like that. And obviously they're extremely well done. You can see the details on top and all that. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm going to convert those to a wood stove for the Dogtown shop, which is just back off of the screen here. Next up, this is pretty cool. We got an ATV. Check out the detail on the ATV, guys. Got the handlebars and everything on there. And while I'm... Uh, I think this is a Honda, by the way. That's what I'm going with. I think it's like a Honda Big Red or something along those lines. Um, while we're talking about it, they also have people. Now, this is the ATV Rider. But they have lots and lots of different people. And actually, they have gone around. I was reading up and they've scanned people at uh, train shows and things like that. So maybe someday we could get, uh, we could get them to come down to a farm 
show and do some of that. That would be super cool if we could get them at like Dubuque or Lafayette, someplace like that, uh, to do that sort of thing. We'll see. Might have to might have to shoot them that idea over there and see what they can come up with. But really cool. Um, and it's a really cool idea to scan yourself and have a 3D print of yourself, which I think you guys are at least somewhat familiar with the me, the Jason, for the love of tractors guy there. Um, he's put on a few pounds since that picture, since that. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Another thing I had to have uh, from Mini Prince, Purple Martin House. Um, we live seven miles from the, let's call it the self-proclaimed Purple, Purple Martin capital of the world. And uh, so we see Purple Martin houses everywhere around here. And, you know, so I, I had to have one of those. Uh, also, being a dog lover, a couple dog houses, one of them with the dog inside. How cool is that? Uh, so that's obviously going to go uh, on the model farm. So here's a question for you guys. What do we name this dog? So, of course, we have Alice, the St. Bernard, that hangs out uh, over on Dogtown Ag and sometimes Dogtown Farms. What are we going to name this, this doggo here? So... I just put that down in the comments below and let us know. Moving on, something that a lot of displays overlook, but this really adds to a display, trash cans. And you can see mini prints, they have their own separate lids. So how cool is that? You can take the lid off and on. Uh, you could even put some trash in there if you want to. Um, if you got real creative, you could probably paint a sack in there or something like that on the inside. Super cool. Gotta have that if you're gonna have a farm toy display, in my opinion. And then here's another one. This was, this was, I was blown away. Milk crates. And I don't know how well this detail is gonna show up, but you can actually see the holes in those milk crates. Absolutely incredible 3D printed detail there. And I can't wait. Those will obviously be on the farm. I've got some old tractors I'm gonna attach these to uh, to put some you know, spare parts and things like that. I'm just really, really excited uh, to try those out. And I bet I order more of those in the future. Uh, up next, bird houses and bird baths. Something else that just is going to add a ton of uh, just detail. It's going to be something that will draw your eye uh, to a display. I really, really think these are cool, especially the bird. I mean, every everybody's got a bird bath around here, it seems like. So that's cool. And then the birdhouses will get up on some fence posts or something like that uh, just to kind of dress up some places and, you know, tell, tell the story of a, a farm. Another really cool detail, bushel baskets. So, uh, you know, apple picking, uh, whatever, you know, whatever you need a bushel basket for. Uh, super cool. Look at the incredible detail on those guys. You can even see the handles and everything. Just wow. Uh, now, you might have noticed these have the supports under them. A lot of his prints do, and they're super easy. They will either just pull off, or you can take your sprue cutters and just, you know, clip those off. Super easy to do. Uh, I think uh, a lot of these, it's kind of wise to leave the supports on until you're painted, because it gives you something to kind of hold on to and something to hold the basket. Like So, for example, if you're going to spray these, these baskets are going to blow everywhere, but if you've got the supports under them and you spray them, they're going to stay put. So I think that's a great idea to do that. Now, we just had a, uh, we just got back from a Halloween party last night. Uh, check this out. How about some jack-o'-lanterns, guys? I mean, how cool is that? Different sizes of jack-o'-lantern there. I mean, that's, that's awesome. And it's even got the eyes and the mouth and everything else that you would want from your jack-o'-lantern so you can decorate for Halloween on your display that's really neat I think another cool thing a natural gas whoops a natural gas meter uh, so around here a lot of homes are run on natural gas so you will see these outside of that and uh, you can see that so I'm gonna probably do uh, you know paint these up and we'll we'll put them on uh, the dogtown house for sure we may even run it uh, on the Dogtown shop, even though the Dogtown shop is kind of wood fired, uh, it could supplement that with gas as well. So another super awesome detail display item, mailboxes. So check that out guys. So uh, you can see 
It's got the wheel and then the mailbox out there. The mailbox has ton of details, tons of details. And then you've got one here that's on the milk jug. I mean, that's super cool. And then we've got another that is on a water pump. So just awesome stuff there. Anyway, that will kind of wrap up our display items. Now, Mini Prince has many more items than that. So uh, just just head over to their, their website, miniprince.ca, and see what you got, see what they got, see if uh, there's something you would like there. Part two of this video will be up in a few days, and it is on animals, which are really going to bring to life certain aspects of the display. So get ready to check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. Happy tractor hunting.